For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, let's do this problem where they want you to find the force in members GF, GD, and CD of the truss. GF, GD, and CD are right here, so you want to use a method of sections and cut it right here. Do you use the left of the diagram or the right of the diagram? Well, I would use the right of the diagram because E has only one vertical reaction, whereas A can have both a horizontal and a vertical reaction, which would make using the right hand side much more feasible. So let me redraw the right hand side right here. Alright, so the first thing that we have to do is find this vertical reaction Fy. How do we do that? Well, you know that the sum of the moments at A, assuming clockwise is positive, is equal to zero. And it is equal to this 10 kN force times 2 meters plus the 25 kN force times 4 meters plus the 15 kilonewton force times 6 meters minus Fy times 8 meters. When you solve for Fy, you get that Fy is equal to 26.25 kilonewtons. Now we have to find phi. Phi is given by the tangent inverse of 3 over 2 because you know that this distance from here to here is 3, 1 plus 2 and the distance from here here is 2 so this is equal to 56.3 degrees and then we need another angle I'm going to call it theta which is this angle theta which is also equal to this angle theta let's call this theta theta and theta is equal to the tangent inverse of 1 over 2 this distance 1 over this distance from here to here 2 and it is equal to 26.6 degrees so the first thing we're going to do is start knocking down variables you know that the sum of the moments at D you pick the moments right here is equal to zero so you know that the moment that Fy creates times 2 let's assume counterclockwise is positive Fy times 2 creates a moment about here and you have the moment that is created by GF but only the X component of GF is creating a moment so it is plus GF cosine of theta because that's the X component times because the distance from here to here is 2 it is equal to 0 so you get that GF is equal to negative 29.3 kilonewtons the fact that it's negative it means that we aim it the wrong way it wasn't going up it's actually going down So GF is equal to 29.3 kilonewtons. We corrected it. So now with this new diagram, we know that the sum of the forces in the Y is equal to zero. So you get that the GF minus GF sine of theta plus GD this is GD this is GF GD sine of phi minus 15 plus Fy this is all equal to 0 we found GF already we know theta we know phi we know Fy so all we gotta do is solve for GD 
and we get that GD is equal to no, small number of 2.25 kilonewtons going up. So GD was going up, that one's correct. Now you know that the sum of the forces in the x is equal to zero. So CD minus GD cosine of E plus GF cosine of theta is equal to zero. We got GD, we got phi, we got GF, we got theta. So we solve for CD. And we get that it is equal to negative 25 kilonewtons. Now, the fact that it's negative, it just means that we had it aiming the wrong way. So it's going to the left in reality. So we corrected it and we put that over here, 25 kilonewtons. So are they in compression or are they in tension? Now that we have the way they aim, you know that this one goes this way, which means it goes this way, which means CD is in tension. We know this one goes up, which means this one goes down, which means it's also in tension for GD. And the last one, GF, is going down, which means it's going up, which means GF is in compression. Final answer, final answer, final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.